Today we're going to be installing seat covers and floor mats from custominteriors.com on a 6th generation Camaro. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install seat covers as well as floor mats from custominterior.com on a 6th generation Camaro. Now I'm going to be showing you um, the seats that the seat covers that we put into this Camaro and then I'm also going to show you how we install them and, and we've filmed it already on my Camaro so you'll be able to see exactly how they're installed and this is going to give you a little bit of variation to let you see what is available okay so they have uh, different patterns and different colors and you've already seen us do the seat covers and floor mats for the C7 Corvette and so we're kind of branching out we're doing the Camaros now and we're going to be having another a couple videos coming soon for uh, the um, for the Dodge Charger as well as the C6 Corvette. They just released those and so uh, they just sent us a, a set of them. So I'm just waiting for the car to get here so we can go ahead and do the installation video. So stay tuned for those, okay? So anyway, sit back, relax. We're gonna show you how it's done. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. This is the, this is the kit. This is the black with the red honeycomb stitching. This is what we're going to be putting into our black Camaro here. And um, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like beforehand. You've got your two bottom seats and the two upper parts as well as the lower for the rear and then the upper back. And then you also have the two headrest covers right there. Okay, so that's what comes in the kit. And you can go ahead and we're going to, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video now. I will show you how to be able to put these on. It's actually very simple um, if you know exactly where to lift the seat out to get the seat, the back seats out. The, the front one's pretty simple, all right? So we're gonna jump into it now. We're in the back seat here, and we've gotta get the, the back seat out, and then we're gonna pull the bottom seat, and that way we can get the bottom seat done, put it back in, and then we'll be able to put the, top, the back one back in. So you're gonna pull your emergency pull handle right here just to release your seat. We're gonna pull it down, okay? Then all you're gonna do is grab on the edge here and you're just gonna lift it, lift it up. See if I can get myself out of the way. But you're gonna just lift on the very back and lift it up on the side here. You're gonna do the same thing over here. All right. So at that point, you can go ahead and remove this seat right here. The next step we've got to do is we've got to get the uh, the bottom seats out. And so there's a little latch that's hidden and it's about right here straight down. So it's a little plastic and metal clip. So you're just going to push your a screwdriver or a pry bar or something like that right, right there dead center. Okay. And then you're just going to pry it up a little bit just like that. And that releases that side. I'm going to go ahead and swing around to the other side real quick, and we'll do that, and then I'll come back to the other side. All right. At that point, we've got this thing free. You just lift up. Comes right out. It's like this. Now we can go ahead and we can wrap it. All right, so we have the back seat. This is the bottom cushion here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip this over just like this and get this here on a flat spot like this. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab our back seat cushion itself like this and we're gonna go ahead and set it down on top of here. So we've got different straps here in the, in the seat itself. You can see all the different different uh, cushions here or uh, different straps and so you're going to be taking this one here you're going to be pushing it up through the seat belt hole okay like that you're just going to leave it there like that you're going to do the same thing on this one just like that 
Okay. Then you're going to take these little clips and these little guys. And they go right up here like this. And pull it up a little bit, and this is going to flip around and lock in place like that. Okay. Just like that. And then at this one will go in and it'll tuck in into the foam here, okay? Just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, all right? So now this side is pretty well tucked in, okay? Now you've got some straps here. So we're just gonna bring that across there like this. And we're gonna bring this one across like this here, okay? So now we've got, we're gonna straighten this up a little bit. And now if you look over here on this side, you're going to see that we've got a couple straps. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, take our strap here, we're going to go across like this, and we're going to take this one and go across like this one, like that. You're going to go across and snap it in place. Okay. So now we're also going to take this one here that came out of the seatbelt hole, and we're going to go across over to here and snap this one. Okay, just like that. Now, I know some of you are wondering, why didn't he crisscross this over? Well, what it does is it ends up putting these snaps basically right here where you're not going to be able to push this down enough to be able to get this seat to latch back. So that's why we went there like that, just so you know, so you don't make that mistake. I'm going to sneak right over here real quick, and we're going to come across just like this. Actually, we're going to go back over here, we're going to grab, go through our side, okay? And you've got two loops, so don't forget, don't forget one of them, okay? Go like that, bring yourself over to here like that. Then you're going to take this one, and you're going to bring it across just like that. At that point, let's go ahead and flip this over. And this will all tuck in nice and pretty. Then when your seat belts, your seat belt uh, latches go in, it'll hold all this nice in place. And once this gets a little bit warm, we're in a we're in a nice air air conditioned garage right now, so this is this will take a little bit of time to, um, to straighten out. Once it's in the car and a little bit of heat, this is gonna mellow right out, okay? I've, put, I've installed these, these type of seat covers in the, uh, in the Corvettes, and um, when you first put them on, they have, uh, they've got a little bit of wrinkle in them. Like I said, once there's, uh, once a little bit of sun, heat hits it, you'll be good. All right, so now at this point, <clears throat> what we can do is we can go ahead and we can put this one back in the car. So I'm just gonna grab this. I'm just gonna put it right back in here like so. Make sure your seat belt isn't doing its thing there. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can turn a light on here so you guys can see. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna try to get out of the way of the camera. Be able to get some light in here for you guys. got your seat belt. Let's see if I can get over here a little bit. That's a little bit better. All right, so you've got your two seat belt holders, receivers. You're going to push those up through the hole. in there like so. Now you can see this little this little latch right here is going to go into the white clip. So you're just going to get that set. You're going to make sure this side is ready to go. There we go. And there we go. And that one is in and ready. Next we're going to take the back 
uh, the actual back seat backing, and we're going to take it and we're going to put it here upside down like this. Then we're going to take the back seat itself, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide it in here. So we're going to set it in. You'll see that this is just going to go in here like so. Now this has some Velcro all the way around it. So you want to make sure that you get those pieces of Velcro out, okay, all the way around like that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stuff this in there. Okay. Now what you want to do is that we're gonna stuff the seat cover itself in, and they, the Velcro is actually gonna fight you a little bit, guys. So just kind of take it, pull it out, pull it up like this, and then you're going to basically keep sucking it in because you want to get the leather to cover up here like this, right? We're gonna get it centered in, but you wanna make sure that that latch is completely free and that it is totally, totally fitting it. So you can see what's happening. I'm slowly pulling, pulling the seat cover down. All right, so now that we've got that taken care of, and we're gonna leave the side ones open at first here, okay guys? So this way, we can take these and we're gonna be able to tuck these down into the seat once we get them into the seat, okay? But we wanna make sure that the seat cover is pulled down far enough that it's gonna be able to fit down in there, okay? So now you got all this done, we've got all this set to go, now you can take this, you can bring this across, just like that. You can do the same thing right here. Okay, so now, at that point, we've got our back ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll put it in the car. At that point, we'll take these and we'll tuck these down into the seat. Okay, this, so this will end up in the bottom of the seat, kind of like that. Okay, so it's kind of hard for you guys to see that, so I just wanna make sure you guys can see exactly what we're doing. You'll just literally push it through and go like that. And we're going to lay the seat down and we're just going to put it back in the slots that it came out of. Push down, push down, and set it up. At that point, we now can take our seat or our little latches like I was showing you. And you literally can tuck those down in there. Very clever design actually on how this works. Literally, guys, this is really simple actually. You're just pushing them in and you're just turning them so they won't just slide right back out. That's all. It's not hard. So just take your time with it. You might run into a little something in the way. Just move it a little bit the other direction and it'll go through. One thing I forgot to show you, and I and I was able to pull it out pretty easy, but when we were putting the seat cover on, I forgot to show you to make sure that you pulled your pull handle back through the little slot when we first slid the seat onto the cushion. So I got it in here, I locked it in, and I went, uh-oh, forgot. So I was able to just reach in with my finger and pull it out, but you want to be very careful that you don't make that same mistake because, you know, you'll be fishing it out. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know about that, okay? So next what we're going to do, guys, we need to be able to get the seat out. Now, you wouldn't have to do this, but I'm doing it for an example here to show you for demonstration. You don't have to pull the seats out. It's going to take you a little bit of time to string the uh, straps underneath, but once we get this seat out, we'll be able to show you how it straps across, and then we'll go from there, okay? So on the Camaro, 
you're going to need a T50 Torx that goes into this bolt and to this bolt right here. So we're gonna move, gonna remove that. Okay, remove these. Okay. So how these work, there's, in most cars they have four bolts. This one's just got two and they're in here in the back. So we move the seat forward, pull the bolt out, and then you can see it's not in the track over here. It's got a little ear. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll get it out of here. Now, you guys, well, as you probably can see right here, that's the connector for the power to the seat as well as the airbag. And um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that loose. Now you could go ahead and you can take the, probably the best procedure would be to take the battery loose. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pull, pull the cable. So I'm gonna set my, got my two bolts over here in the seat, get my stuff out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and push this little, little red guy over push it back like so if I can do this and then we're gonna pull this forward like that that releases the power to the seat okay then at that point you're also going to have a little retainer clip okay so this should just pull forward pull up and off of there like that it's almost off and if it doesn't want to come loose then you can use a, uh, a little pry tool just like this little guy here. Okay, it's like that. Okay, so now at that point, we're gonna be able to lift up on the seat. It's like this. It's gonna get a little bit up. There's a little, there's like a little ball that goes down into the floor. It kind of locks it in place. So we're gonna lift up and then we're gonna lift back. Just like that. Okay, so now at that point, we can go ahead and we can pull the seat out. Now I'm just gonna pull this, the, uh, this, this out just enough to get it out of the car. Now you wanna make sure that you be careful and you don't scrape your threshold here. So if you've got a towel or a blanket, um, I would go ahead and advise you to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So now you're just literally going to be able to pull the seat out. We'll just tilt it out here, just scoot it back, fold it. It's going to be kind of tight getting it out, guys. It's like that. Okay, like that. And then just kind of, kind of roll it. Okay. So you can see that we're just pulling this out. Make sure that you've got a little bit of room here. You don't hit the, hit your car. You don't want to won't be scratching anything up okay so now at this point we're gonna go ahead and come back outside the car and I'll show you how to put the seat cover on okay so we have the seat out now and we've got our first seat cover and what we're gonna do it has the straps here as well as the front the fronts are very simple you're gonna be able to do these and these go through the, through the back so you could do this without pulling the seat out of the car. It's not hard to pull the seat out, so um, to be able to get an even cleaner uh, way of installing this, I'm gonna show you how to do that where you don't really see these straps at all. And so if you left the seat in the car, you wouldn't be able to do this. You just have to be able to reach underneath there and pull them across. So then you would be able to, you would end up seeing the strap on this outside edge, okay? But what I'm gonna show you how to do here is We've got, our, we've got our straps open. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this up here like so, okay? And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna tuck these in just to get them in there, okay? All right, so now that part's done. Okay, so now you can kind of tuck this around here. We'll show you that. See how that tucks in nice and pretty? Now. Again, what you can do is you can just, if you're leaving the seat in the car, you can just bring it and bring your strap like that, right? But what we're going to do is we're actually going to tuck this strap right down here inside the cushion. 
so we're going to tuck it down in here like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay the seat down on the side. Make sure you don't hit your car because I've, I've left the, the seat belt still attached. Okay. So now what you can see here is I've tucked it down in here and I can now pull this in. It's like that. And at that point I can take the seat cover itself and I can take this bead and I can push it all the way down just like that. So it's all nice and tucked in. Okay. So it looks just like the real thing now. right? So at that point we're just going to go ahead and we'll just hang it down here like so. Now, and then we'll, we'll flip the seat back over here in just a minute. So now what we can do here, this makes it so much easier here to be able to go and grab something. And there's a couple holes here. You can hook it onto there. And you can hook it on to right there. Okay. So those are strapped in place. The two back ones, you'll be able to get, when we do the backs, you'll be able to pull the straps from underneath here. So let's go ahead and let's pull the seat back or over, okay? Turn the seat around like so, okay? And we're gonna lay it over like this. And again, be careful that you don't scrape your car, okay? But now, you can see right here this strap, right? All we gotta do is get, get our strap right here we're going to connect it up. Just like that. Okay. So then the seat is ready to go on the bottom. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the top on right at the back. Now this has some Velcro here, it goes all the way across. This, this seat basically opens all the way up. Okay? And this allows you to pull the seat down over the headrest. Now, you're going to have your these these seats. Let me point that out too. These seats are keyed left and right for the the seat release right here. So you want to make sure that you get the right seat cover. Okay. So you're going to just pull these down. And you've got a, you don't have a lot of room in here, so you got to kind of get your fingers in there at the right angle to get them to turn because they will catch on the on the uh, fabric, and you don't want that to happen. You want them to actually turn all the way. Once they're in there, they're not going anywhere, trust me. And you can't reach them from the back when the seat is out like this. Okay, so now we got that. Okay, so now we're just going to take our Velcro. I'm just going to tuck it around. Okay, so we're going to take that and tuck it up a little bit. Strap that down. Strap that down like that. Just making it nice and smooth. Okay. So now I'm going to turn the seat around a little bit here so you can see it a little bit better. Now we have a strap here. That's all we have left. You see right here. 
So all we've got to do is we've just got to go in and find something to lock that to. And find there's plenty of plenty of spaces that we can lock it to something. Right there. Let's see what else we got here. I'm trying to get out of your guys' way so you guys can see. There you go. Let's take that. Okay. So now, the very last piece of the puzzle. And, well, I shouldn't say last piece. We got one more piece. There's a zipper right there. Forgot about that. Okay, but we have, we have our headrests. Okay. These are keyed also, so you'll be able to tell which way they go, okay. just like that. And then, so this one here is the opposite side, and this one is for this one that's pointing this way. So there's no real trick to this, the Velcro piece here, Velcro piece right here. Okay. So we're just going to slide this little guy over, just like so. Okay, and then we're going to Velcro this down. So pull that over. And literally, it's Velcro. Now, I have seen people install these. John, you might want to come on around here and show them. I see this all the time. This is how they leave it. They put this on there like that, and they're like, oh, that looks great. No, it doesn't. Okay? So what you can do is you can just walk this around, just like this, all the way around. And it'll tuck in. that a little bit more right there there you go and that is it guys so now that is a completely finished seat so this is a completely finished seat right here okay um, you can see it's tucked in here there's no straps here so if you want a really really good finish all the way around and it doesn't even look like it was, it, you know, that it's a seat cover, then I recommend you taking them out. But if you don't want to, you don't have the tools, then you're just gonna have that one strap. It's not that big of a deal, but this way you can have it much, much smoother, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it back in the car and then um, I'm not gonna bother you or bore you with doing the exact same one or the exact same thing on the other side. It's done exactly the same way. So uh, we'll, you're just going to reverse the process. Uh, we'll show you how to do this side, and then um, and we're going to go ahead and we'll finish the video. All right, guys. Just before we put this back in the car, put the seat back in. You remember to cover your threshold with some towels or a blanket or something like that. You don't want to scratch this. Um, and then just to point all this out now that you know how it what it looks like. There's two slots right here on each side that the front of the seat actually sits down and then it moves forward. Once it moves forward enough that it can lock into, the back ears will lock into these two holes, these two guide holes, and then you have your torque bolt that's actually going to lock it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the, the seat now, we're gonna put it in. Now, again, I wanna iterate to you that I'm taking the chance of not taking the air bat or taking the battery loose, right? Because I disconnected it here. The car's been off for a couple of hours, so everything was de-energized beforehand. But, you know, I just want to tell you that you probably should go ahead and uh, take the battery loose beforehand just to make sure that you don't have anything going sideways on you and having a, the side airbag go off in your seat, okay? So, anyway, uh, let me go ahead and grab the seat. So, again, just want to be careful that you're not going to scratch your car, okay? 
just like that. You're going to have to fold your, bring your headrest all the way down, and you're going to have to fold your seat forward, okay? And it's going to be pretty tight. But you'll be able to get it, okay? Once you get it in there like that, then you can start to adjust it. Now that we've got our, we can get our towels out of the way, we can go ahead and we can adjust the seat. Like so. So now, we're almost there. And you'll be able to feel it. I'm getting close. Now watch your fingers. Don't get yourself pinched, okay? But we're really close now at this point. And you'll be able to know because the back end of the or the front end of the seat's not going to come up. Otherwise, you you definitely got it in the wrong spot. There we go. There's that. Okay. So now at this point, we can put our torques in. Like that. We can go ahead and tighten them down. Okay. And one more right here. All right. And that one is installed. All we have to do, our seat, our seat belt connection on, back on. We're gonna lock it down in place. We're good to go. Now we can lower our seat down and move it back, and we're good to go. That's all there is to it, guys. All right. So this is the white car with the black with the red insert seats. This is what they call the smooth seat uh, with the red piping. You can see how that fits in there really nice. Take a look at the how it trims out really nice. I've seen a lot of these that have been done and they didn't get this trim done. And So you can see how that looks. It looks really nice. So if you take your time you can do that. And then let's get back over to the back. You can take a look here. It fits really, really well. You can also see that we have a wind restrictor in there and it still fits just fine. As well as how you can see how the seats and the seat belts and everything, they go in. So everything looks really, really good. All right, guys. Now that you've seen me install the seat covers, um, these are the floor mats that happen to match the seats. Now they have, again, they have a lot of different designs as far as the floor mats, so you don't have to do this one, but be sure and look on, on their site and you'll be able to figure out what pattern you want and all that type of stuff, what color. Okay, but this one happens to match the seats that we just installed. So I'm just gonna uh, walk over to the car. We're gonna show you how to put the front and the rear mats in. It's really simple. They do come with some clips that are in the box to be able to help you lock these down. But I found when I already did the passenger side, it's very, very simple. They just fit in there like a glove, so you don't even need the clips. But if you choose to want to use them, you can go ahead and use them, okay? So I'm just gonna set this one down because I've already moved the front, the back seat or the front seat forward so I can get in there. All right, so we're gonna do the back one first so you can see how it's designed. This is gonna go underneath the seat right here and then this just kind of tucks up in the, in the front. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna slide this in. I've got a light here in the, in the back seat so you can see this a little bit better. Um, but this just goes and slides in just like this. And it fits really, really well. So once I get out of the camera's way here, and I'll get these in and I'll get out of the camera's way and I'll let, I'll let Jeff get in here with the camera and you can see just how nice this fits. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so now we are at the front. You can see here, this is what the front one looks like. Uh, it's got the protector here for your heel. Um, and these are, you know, custom cut out. So again, um, they just fit right in. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide this one right in here. You can see that this just will tuck right onto the side of the seat. Just like that. This light out of the way. There you go. Just like that. Hey, my light's not playing nice here, guys. So you can see what that looks like in there. And then we can go ahead put that in there like that and you can see just how well that sits I apologize for this darn light battery must be getting low so there you go all right guys we are in the back of the car of our Camaro and hopefully the light I pulled it outside so you can kind of see it hopefully you can hopefully the cameras picking it up in the garage it was just so dark back here that I wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like so you can see how nice those fit in there it looks really nice right and then there's those floor mats that match it so you can see there and then we move the seat back here so here's the seat covers themselves And then here's your seats right here, the floor mats. But you can see how they match exactly. So there you go, guys. You've seen it uh, two different styles and the same type of Camaro. So hopefully you guys will uh, want to get a set for yourselves. They look really nice. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. And you'll know exactly where to get a set for your car when you decide you want to get some. So be sure and check out custominterior.com. I'm gonna put that information right here. They're also sold through Extreme Online Store. So you can get them at either place and um, they'll be happy to take care of you. So like I said, I'm gonna put all that information right here on the screen and uh, hopefully uh, you guys get yourself a set. I love the set we have in our, on our Corvettes as well as the Camaro. They just look really nice. They fit really well. And as you can see from the video, it wasn't that hard to install. So guys, you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.